I'm here with Vicki from Hope Bus. We're gonna take a tour inside right now. Welcome back, I'm Kevin K from KevinK.com. I'm here with Vicki from Hope Bus. On this channel, I do a lot of YouTube tutorials, a lot of live streaming, and much, much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm here with Vicki from Hope Bus. Thank you so much for having us back. We actually visited before, and I'm so happy we're gonna get a tour of the actual Hope Bus. This is what your channel is all about. Yes, it is. Welcome to Hope Bus. So tell us what the Hope Bus is for. Well, Hope Bus stands for helping other people evolve. Right. And that is whether it's mental or um, spiritual or emotional or physically. And we just want to help people in any way we possibly can on Hope. That's wonderful. Let's take a look inside. So Vicki, thank you for the tour. Let us know what uh, exactly we're going to see inside the Hope Bus. Welcome. Come on in. So what you're looking at right now is my future off-grid home. And we will be having two... Uh, captain's matching chairs right here, basically. And then you work your way into the kitchen kind of area, which is, this is going to be a coat cover. And then you have your shoes that you can put underneath there. You have a little mini camper stove, then our actual stove, countertop, cupboards, and sink. So this will be like our kitchen area. And then we have cupboards up here. We still have to put handles on. These are open windows. It's just, it's winter time right now. So we're working on it and we need to keep the insulation going. And then you have our couch, which will have seat belts for our guests that are driving with us. Uh, and then you make your way into the dining room. This is wonderful. It's great to see <laughs> that you're able to build this from scratch. You can tell that the entire bus was gutted. And you said to me, but while we were off camera, how many seats were in here? 40, 47 seats were in this bus when we brought it to this property. Wonderful. Yeah. So then we had, yeah, just our cupboards and then our fridge, our dinette and our washroom area. Um, where it's pre-cut, where it's pre-cut there, it's actually a window's gonna go in there. But right now it's just kind of covered up. But yeah, take a look inside. We'll have a proper RV toilet with a black tank and a sink. And our shower is on a, I forget, I'll ask Terry, but it's like a recirculating shower. So you can actually have like a 20 minute shower instead of like on and off kind of deal. So yeah, and yeah, take a look on that one, the washer area there. I actually got a chance to see the Hope Bus about four or five months ago when we came to visit Terry and Vicki the first time. Come on in here and let me show you this, Kira, because this is one of the most impressive features, at least to myself. Have a look in the shower. Kira's helping us film right now and show like the whole, like all the way down, all the way up. That is a huge, even bigger than most home size showers, I think. And I uh, just love the idea that they've built so much that they want for this to be a custom home for themselves into this bus. All right, so one cool thing that we have going on here is underneath our dinette area is storage compartment where you put your like your luggage. So the doors used to come up. What Terry has done, he's made them come open underneath. So he's going to build a roll out balcony. That's cool. Which will basically be like our picnic area. So we can either eat here with our table or we can put our table out here. So this door actually does open up and then that's where the, the cage is kind of going to come out, flip open, we'll have an awning and that way we can eat inside or outside. This is a work in progress, but I <laughs> love the ideas. It's crazy. It's the it's just changing as we kind of keep going and everything. And like when you look here, you see a three seater because we couldn't have a four seater with the hallway being short. But when you, Terry's going to put this on latches and then you would have a four seater. And then when it's down, you'll see like the cushion will be attached to it and then it will be a four seater. Or Wonderful. Three -seater. So yeah, things you kind of keep changing as you go, but I'll show you into the back if you want. Yep. Yep. Come down here, our hallway, which leads into the spare room. And again, another pre-cut window. Um, this is where our, our energy healing clients or even just our guests will be staying. The doors will be like foldy doors. And then um, we're gonna have a Murphy bed. If you were to guess, how big would you say this room is? Looks about eight by eight to me, it could be. Yeah, probably. 
That's yeah. Great. That's great. Yeah. Wow, that's a comfortable size space for anybody to stay. Yeah. And so what we're going to, what will happen is the bed will be the Murphy bed. And when Terry gives his healings, the bed will be up and then he'll have his space here. And when the client's sleeping, the bed will be down. And the only thing available will be basically like cupboards. Yeah. So, and then here, um, he's going to have one of those, not this ladder, but another ladder. And this is the entrance to the rooftop deck. Wow. So the deck will be from here back and then here forward, or the roof will be covered in solars. And you'll be, oh, that's incredible. Yeah. Self-sustaining. Oh yeah. And then through to my room here, our tool room at the moment, we'll have, we have four pre-cut windows. So when we're sleeping in our bed, we can, it will be raised so we can literally look out the window. And then Moji's bed is going to be underneath our bed. And who's Moji? Moji's our pop, our two-year-old <laughs> French Nasu. We'll get a shot of Moji after. Yeah, and then just AC unit and cupboards and a queen-size bed here. Wow. So that's our home. That's comfort. Crazy. This is Moji, our two-year-old French Mastiff. He will be on the bus living with us. Yeah, what's really uh, my favorite thing on this bus, actually, is the way my husband has done these windows. These are the original bus windows. Um, and as you can see, it just looks like it's framed nicely, but they still need to be accessible to open. Wow. So what he's done is with these levers that are metal, they're actually on an angle. So right. he's shimmied basically a wood frame around it. And now that's how I can open my windows and leave them closed. Excellent. Isn't that cool? So it's nice, nice and flush when we close them. I like the finishing job as well that we see. Here, these windows still have to be finished, but this is what you were talking about, right? In the yeah. other windows. Um, so these levers here, this is how you secure the window to close them. So what Terry did on the other ones was completely built that frame that we just showed you. These ones aren't actually going to get done because they will be covered up with the kitchen. Oh, yes, of course. But these are how all the window frames are actually underneath the frame. Pretty cool. Well, thank you very much for this quick inside tour. For anybody that wants to see the before and after of the Hope Bus, you can visit Hope Bus's channel. It's literally Hope Bus. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link in the description. And Vicki, I hope I get invited back for the grand reveal when it's finished. You better come back. I <laughs> hope so, for sure. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.